Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a trigonometry problem. We're given that tangent 17 degrees is equal to x. By the way, I forgot to write the degree symbol. Sorry about that. But I usually don't write it. It's usually understood, hopefully. And we're supposed to find the value of tangent 23 degrees. But how are we going to find it? The answer needs to be in terms of x. So we're given x and we need to associate tangent 23 degrees with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can approach this problem in different ways. Obviously, some of you are probably thinking, wait a minute, 23 is 6 more than 17, isn't it? That's true. So can we not write, and from now on I'm not going to write the degree symbol, but it's understood, hopefully. Can I not write 23 as... 17 plus 6 and then just use the formula which is tangent 17 plus tangent x divided by 1 minus tangent 17 multiplied by tangent 6. You probably know this formula, right? Tangent alpha plus beta. Great. And then if you replace tangent 17 with x, then what are you going to get? You're going to get something like this. Tangent 23 equals x plus tangent 6 divided by 1 minus x times tangent 6. But the million dollar question is, what is tangent 6? Can we find the value? Go ahead and write down in the comment section what you think. I'm going to leave it unanswered. But this is not the goal. Our goal is different and I know how would you know what to find, right? I mean, if this was a multiple choice question, it would probably be a lot better, but I usually don't do multiple choice unless I have to take a test, right? And I haven't taken a math test for a while. Anyways, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the relationship between these two things using a special angle. And by the way, I asked this question to AI and then it couldn't answer it. Of course, it gave me this answer, which is pretty typical, right? But then I started guiding it like, okay, consider the fact that blah, 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 use that fact, use this, use that. Eventually, it was able to figure it out. But, you know, you gotta do a lot of hand-holding. That's what AI is at this point. I know some people are gonna be saying, oh, AI is super smart, they can do this, whatever. No, they're still very dumb and a lot of guidance is needed. Anyways, now, let's see how we can approach this problem using a special angle approach. And I've done problems like this before. Hopefully, you can find them and let us know. If you can find the links, please share with us. Because it usually, you know, takes a long time for me to find them. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to go from 17 to 23, but we need to use a special angle. To do that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead... And by the way, 17 is a really weird angle. It's a prime number. 23 is a prime number too. So we're going to go ahead and look at multiples of 17. And I'll tell you why this is important. Okay. But first I got to show you the multiples, right? For example, if you double 17, what do you get? 34. Now, can I find the relationship between 34 and 23 using a special angle such as 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 150 degrees, whatever, something like that. But these, and prob probably 90 degrees. Using these, can I go from 34 to 23? If you look at these two angles, you can realize that their difference is 11. So, yes, I can write 23 as 34 minus 11. The problem is, though, 11 is not a special angle. It's not one of these. That's the problem. But don't worry, we can fix it. How? Maybe you can think of this as 30 plus 4. But again, there's no relationship between 4 and 23 because their difference is 19. Their sum is 27. Mm, 27 is not bad. It's like 3 times 9. But still, it's problematic. So, let's go ahead and do this then. If this didn't work, right, subtract 34 from 45, 60, and 90. Let's see what you're going to find. 
if you subtract 34 from 45, you get 11, right? Okay, so 45 minus 34 is 11. What about 60? 60 minus 34 is 26. Close, but not there. And then what about 90 minus 34? That is going to be 56. Again, it's not related to 23. So 34 did not work. But don't give up. Do not despair. Because we can still double one more time, right? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. And that's going to give us 68. Great. Now, can you find something between these two numbers? And the answer is yes. Try this. Subtract 68 minus 30. You get 38. That didn't work. Okay, subtract uh, 68 minus 45. And what you what are you getting? 23. Yay, we got this. So 45 degrees is going to do the job. So what are we supposed to do? Well, here's what you can do. You can write 23 as 68 minus 45. And then since you need tangent 23, you can associate that with tangent 68. But wait a minute. Do we know tangent 68? First, let's write our equation, like tangent both sides, because you can do it, right? You can definitely do this. So the next thing you're going to do is, obviously, we're going to have to hit tangent 68 at some point, but we don't know it. But wait a minute. 68 is 4 times 17. So we can use the quadruple angle formula. Do you have it memorized? Probably not. But don't worry. I'll give it to you. And if... If you don't want to use that, you can use the double angle formula. What's the double angle formula? Let me give it to you. Tangent 2 theta is 2 tangent theta divided by 1 minus tangent squared theta. Great. Now, if you replace theta with 13, wait a minute, that wasn't 13, was it? It was 17, actually. Never mind. So if you replace it with 17, you get 2 tangent 17 divided by 1 minus tangent squared 17. And we know that tangent 17 is equal to x. Remember that? It was given, right? So we can go ahead and replace tangent 17 with x here. That gives us 2x divided by 1 minus x squared. This is what I meant when I said in terms of x, right? So now you know that tangent 34 is 2x divided by 1 minus x squared. Awesome. Now, we're going to use this as theta, and we're going to double it again. Because remember, we do need tangent 68, right? Yes. So, let's do it. Now, we're going to use the tangent 2 theta formula, but this time replace theta with 34. So, it's going to give us the following. Tangent 2 times 34 equals 2 times tangent 34. Just memorize the formula and keep doing it. 1 minus tangent squared 34. Now this becomes 68, which is what we're looking for. Again, this is in degrees, in case you missed it. 2 times tangent 34 divided by 1 minus tangent squared 34. Awesome. Now, what are you going to do? Replace 34 with this. Hey, let's do it. 2 times... 2x divided by 1 minus x squared divided by 1 minus, this is the fun part, because you have to square a quotient. Uh-oh, that's problematic. Well, not too much, but a little bit. So at this point, I think it would make sense if I gave you the quadruple angle formula. You, you don't want to memorize it probably, but let me just give it to you anyways. Tangent 4 theta, which is going to give us 68 directly, make sense? 4 tangent theta, and trust me, I didn't have this memorized either. I had to look it up. 4 tangent cube theta divided by, this is interesting, 1 minus 6 tangent squared theta plus tangent to the 4th power theta. And guess what? It just comes from applying the double angle formula twice. It's just like that. If you do this, you should get something like that, right? So... What are we going to do then? We're going to replace theta with 17 directly. So it'll give us tangent 68. And then this will become 4 tangent 17 minus 4 tangent cube 17 divided by 1 minus 6 
tangent squared 17 plus tangent 17 to the fourth power. Awesome. This is not the end though, because you can replace tangent 17 with x. Remember, it was x, 4x minus 4x cubed divided by 1 minus 6x squared plus x to the fourth. By the way, you could probably write this as follows. I think it looks better. x to the fourth minus 6x squared plus 1. Yes, the numerator isn't in standard form, but I think we can do better for the denominator. Now, what are we supposed to do? Uh, oh, we were supposed to write tangent 23 in terms of x. Uh-oh. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to find a relationship between 68 and 23. And remember, 68 we could write as, what? 45 plus 23, right? Or if you want to find the answer directly, there's a better way to do it. Since you're looking for tangent 23, you can write 23 as 68 minus 45, which is going to give you the answer directly. Why do more work, right? Now, here's how it works. The difference formula, and I think I already gave it to you a while ago, right? Didn't I? I should have somewhere. Uh, we talked about it somewhere. I remember. Okay, here we go. See, this is the same thing we're using. So no surprises. This is going to be tangent 68. Remember the formula for difference formula. And then this divided by 1 plus, it's tangent alpha minus tangent beta divided by 1 plus the product. Make sense? Just memorize it. There's a pattern. And now this gives me the answer because I'm looking for tangent 23. But I need to replace tangent 68 with what it is. And that's kind of complicated. Sorry about that. But here's what we can do first. Tangent 45 is 1, so let's just go ahead and do that first, because that'll simplify our expression quite a bit, right? So this is tangent 23 in terms of tangent 68. How nice. And you have an expression for tangent 68, which is this guy right here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So now we can get the answer tangent 23 equals tangent 68, which is uh, 4x minus 4x cubed divided by x to the fourth minus 6x squared plus 1. Hopefully you, you remember that. All of that is divided by 1 plus the same thing. And guess what we're going to do? Simplify this, right? To get the full answer, we need to simplify it. But let me just give it to you. My, can I just give you the form in the simplest, I mean the answer in the simplest form from there? Because, I mean, that's going to be a lot of work, but... You don't really need to go through this. That's kind of too much. But still do it as an exercise. I think it'll be good for you. But here's the answer. And should I write in the simplest form, like standard form? Yes, I think so. So tangent 23 in terms of x. Are you ready? Drum roll. Okay. Minus x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x minus 1 all over x to the fourth minus 4x cubed, minus 6x squared, plus 4x plus 1. Before I finish, I want to leave you with something amazing. I mean, it's just fascinating. Hopefully, you'll find it as fascinating because if you pay attention to the numerator and the denominator and put this together with the fact that x plus 1 to the fourth power can be written as x to the fourth plus 4x cubed, plus 6x squared, plus 4x plus 1 from the binomial theorem. I mean, don't you think this is amazing and mind-blowing? I think so. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. And looks like I'm losing my voice. Hopefully not, because then I could probably not record. Anyways, send your best wishes. And bye-bye.